Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints here. I hope everyone's well. Okay, Sagittarius, the universe has said that you are next for the September read, so let's get them thrown down. After I shuffle and do my spiel, this reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for September 2021. It resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do what you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing no cards. If it does not resonate, that is okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can be vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table. I appreciate you stopping by. Spend time with a little old me. While you're here, if you wouldn't mind, if you think we vibe and we're going to get along, and you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you really like what you can see, then you hit the like button. It all helps the channel. It is all greatly appreciated. I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning, so my throat shocker is still waking up. So if I stumble over words and stutter, that's why. I have not been up very long, I'll be honest with you. Okay. What else? Oh, yeah. Before we invoke the cards, and throw them down for you, Sag. There's a couple things we got to go over. One, never, ever make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if it's my card or somebody else's. So by life-altering, I mean if it's going to completely jack up your universe and destroy everything you've worked for. If you make the wrong decision, do not trust a deck of cards with your destiny. Go inside. Think it through. Listen to what your intuition is telling you. If you choose to use this as guidance, that is completely up to you. The reader claims no liability for choices made upon your own free will, okay? Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and it is not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is that easy. It is not going to be your reading every time. You can take what resonates and leave what does not, but if you don't jog, don't jo buy jogging shoes. If you don't wear heels, don't buy heels. Don't take shoes home that don't fit or don't resonate with you. Okay? It's just like buying a pair of shoes. All right. I think we're there. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, September 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you, and I'm grateful and thankful for the gift that I have been given, and I ask that you help me use it to clearly and accurately bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Sagittarius, why are you here? Queen of Swords. Hmm. She is a lady. She is. Very refined, very elegant, very honest. Sometimes to a fault. And sometimes she has to say things, communicate things that don't always come across right. But she's in the upright, so she does speak her truth. And she does use that mighty sword if she has to, to cut things out of her life that no longer serve her. Insert whatever pronoun fits best with you. That's the energy you're currently in. Self-honesty. Okay. It happened. King of Cups. In the past, be it distant, be it recent, a great deal of emotion for someone or something, but the King of Cups doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. He does not always convey those emotions. 
he hides them. They're there. Just not always expressed. And sometimes that can come across the wrong way. Okay. Present Seven of Pentacles. You're in a state of waiting. Seeds have been planted. Energy has been put in. Work. Effort. And now you're waiting for things to come to fruition. Immediate future. The world reversed. Something is not over. Hmm. Well. Something you thought coming to a close will not be coming to a close. The business is unfinished. Outcome. Nine of Swords. Well, shoot, Sagittarius. This might cause a little bit of anxiety. I know. You don't do anxiety. Sagittarians, anx Sagittarians and anxiety, it's not a good mix. really isn't. I'm a sad son, so I get it. We don't get anxious about things. We cut them loose and let them go. Because anxiety does not serve us. So the idea of you being anxious... Okay. Hmm. I definitely got to get some clarity on that. Oh, gosh. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's the clarifier. Okay. I'm feeling air. <clears throat> Queen of Swords represents an air sign. Could be an air sign you're dealing with. I also have water. I also have earth. I have zero fire, though. So, that doesn't mean, you know, that you're not necessarily dealing with a fire sign. It's just not present on the board. I'm feeling air or water or earth. Could be any one of the elements with the world though so. okay universe source spirit guides can i get the energy of the person or situation sagittarius is dealing with in the month of september please the person or the situation that sagittarius will be dealing with in the month of september be distant could be recent they had the strength card so they were doing a little bit holding back of their own apparently possibly taming a beast could be a leo you're dealing with doesn't necessarily have to be it's a card of understanding the polarities in a relationship it's a card of trust it's a card of holding back we'll get clarity could mean multiple things first blush holding back current energy Four swords reversed. They're a little bit restless. Could it be having a hard time coming in a state of heartbreak? It's restless energy. It comes after the three of swords, so... Hmm. All right. Knight of Pentacles in the immediate future. Oh, well. Well. That's slow moving potential offer nonetheless. Wow. Hard worker. Studious. Slow moving, though. Hmm. 
All right, potential outcome. Page of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Stagnation. Delays. I want to, but I can't. Huh. All right. Clarity. Universe, source, spirit guides. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Sagittarius and the person or situation that they are dealing with for the month of September that will do you that will do them why is the king of cups here why the king of cups for Sagittarius for the past eight of cups reverse two of Pentacles You could have returned to something. Something could have returned to you. Two of Pentacles talks about change and it talks about choices. That's rough. Okay. Very general. Could be a water sign returning to you. You return to a water sign. Just get one more on that. We're going to move to the next card. Six of Pentacles. Equal reciprocation. Something may have came back to even, even out of playing field. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Okay. Possible returning of a favor. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Three cups reversed. Hierophant. Wow. something you put energy into waiting to reap the rewards it could be a blessed union why the three of cups reversed
Magician, Eight of Swords reversed. Could be third party. Doesn't necessarily have to be. You have to disconnect from something else. And come out of your head about it. To manifest a new beginning, potentially a blessed union. In order to reap the benefits of what you've sown. Possibly something that you were closed off to in the past. Possibly something that returned to you to even out the scales of the universe. You reap what you sow. You put in the effort. There's a potential return. But you have to manifest it in order to do that. You have to walk away from something else. Things have to come in order. Okay. What's this world card reversed? What's this world card reversed? It told me to do that. I thought I felt a flipper. Ah! The sun. Another card of Leo. Soulmate connection. One that brings you great joy. Ace of Pentacles. The slow moving seed. The slow moving seed. They're coming in as the slow moving seed, whoever you're dealing with. The slow growing seed of abundance. Huh. I'm almost getting a sense that you have to let something go to receive it. Super weird, but sometimes that's how the universe works, guys. Christine Aguilera played in my head. Say, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours, and that's how you know. Yup. Yup. Slow moving seed. Slow growing seed. If it comes back, it's yours. Huh. All right. Let's get the energy of the person you're dealing with. Why well, strength here? Sag, yeah, um, I'm also getting a sense that some of you may be dealing with multiple people. I'm just throwing that out there. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, leave it. I'm definitely feeling multiple people here. Nine of swords reversed. Strength. That Nine of Swords reversed is like bat crap bonkers. <clears throat> Feels very exasperated, Empress. Growth. Growth. They viewed you as the empress. Seven of Wands possibly caused an internal struggle. Had to hold back. Hmm. 
Okay. Why the Four of Swords reversed? Why is the Four of Swords reversed here? For the here and the now. Three of Wands. Oh, they're waiting on something themselves. A little restless, waiting. One more. Three of Swords reversed. High Priestess. Second three, third three, three threes. I knew there was one, more than one person here. I don't know whose end it's on, but there's more than two people involved in this, guys. Restless energy, waiting on something. Avo either avoiding heartbreak, avoiding heartbreak, or coming out of a state of heartbreak. I'm feeling avoidance of heartbreak. They don't want to break anybody's heart. It's 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 waiting. High Priestess. Feeling it intuitively. But not wanting to break anybody's heart. Being restless. Feeling the connection. Knowing and acknowledging that it's there. I'm going to grab one more and then we're moving on to the next card. Two of Wands. Crossroads having to let go of the wand of the past to move toward the world that is before them and their future. Knowing that they're being divinely guided to walk away from something but not wanting to break anybody's heart. So they're in a state of waiting. Possibly causing a little bit of anxiety and restlessness. Okay. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? reversed. Justice. Ready to make that offer, knowing it's going to be slow going, but it's going to be abundant. You know that there's unfinished business and that the seed has been planted and that this is a soulmate connection. You feel it as strongly as they do. You both denied it in the past, I think. I think you both held back a great deal. But intuitively, you know. Coming out of that state of sadness... coming out of a state of anxiety, allowing balance to return. That mighty sort of justice is going to cut shit out of somebody's life and the scales will come back into balance. Hermit. Hermit. But they got to walk a walk. Hence, the Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is not going to be a fast process. It's not. There, this is, could be spiritual. They're coming out of a dark place. Some of you. Some of them. Somebody is coming out of a very dark time in their life. Where they had to find the light. So. This is going to be a slow process. This is not going to happen overnight. And time is fluid. So when I say immediate future, the immediate future could be a year from now. It could be tomorrow or it could be a year from now. Okay? Time is fluid. Because, quite frankly, 365 days from now is not that long of a time. It's really not. It goes by in the blink of an eye. Blink of an eye. Nine of Swords. Outcome. Potential outcome. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Sagittarius? 
Why so anxious? Five of Pentacles, King of Wands. There's the fire. Why the King of Wands? Knight of Cups reversed. Okay. Why the Five of Pentacles? Tower reversed. That's interesting. But we're going to run with it. We're going to run with it. I'm feeling like, okay, there's two people here. There's two people here. I'm feeling like you're anxious because I'm not getting choice. Somebody's got to get left out in the cold. Be it the King of Wands or the Knight of Cups reversed. You're rebuilding a tower with somebody. Yeah, two of swords reversed, three of pentacles. Impossible decision. You're building the foundation with somebody and somebody's getting cut out. And it's going to have you all anxious and shit. Who you building the tower with? I, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. <sighs> Very strange. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here for the person you're dealing with? Six of Swords reversed. Six of Cups reversed. The Fool. Wow. Empress card over here. This just hit me. I don't know. Sometimes when I'm doing the readings, um, I blank out and I don't remember if I say things. So I'm just going to bring it up again. The person you're dealing with could be with someone else. The Empress, it, it represents, it's family. It represents wife, husband, spouse, someone they have children with. They could have been holding back because of someone because they had shown with someone else. They connected to someone else. Internal battles, internal struggles, fast forward. And... Page of Pentacles reverse, Six of Swords reverse, Six of Cups reverse, The Fool. The Fool represents new journeys and new paths. Six of Swords represents return. Six of Cups represents salty feelings. What? Why the Six of Cups reversed? Well, I'm not taking them all. I'll tell you that right now. But the shadow side popped out. Dis disconnecting from something binding. Why is the Six of Swords reversed? Queen 
wands. King of wands, queen of wands. Hmm. There may be a period of stagnation. I see a return. This is going to sound super strange for some of you. I see them returning after a period of stagnation. Take a leap with you. But they're bound to something else that they have salty feelings about. Or where there's salty feelings there. Wow, Sag. I don't know what the hell you got going on or who the hell you're dealing with, but... Mm -hmm. Strength card, bottom of the deck. Empress reverse, bottom of the deck. Seven of swords, bottom of the deck. Oh, what you got going on. Holy shit. Okay. I don't even know where to begin. Be careful who you trust. Seven of Swords Strength. You may need to have your guard up for a little bit. Okay, so sometimes the, the bottom of the deck advice has absolutely nothing to do with the reading. And being and hearing, be careful who you trust. Ace of Swords. Reversed, Empress reversed. Hereford reversed. I'm not even comfortable. I'm not even comfortable conveying this. I feel like there may be hesitation in the start of a new cycle because someone does not want to separate a family. If it's your story, take it. If it's not, leave it. But a choice needs to be made. And it needs to be made with honesty. Wow. Said I don't know who that's for, but okay. Whatever choice you make, you, you, everybody needs to be up front with everybody. Okay. The Seven of Swords popped out again. Oh my God. If things are going to be stable and things are going to come together, it needs to come from a place of honesty. Boom. King of Swords. Tower reversed. Wow. Ten of Wands. logic head over heart choices the rebuilding of towers the releasing of burdens wow 
Sag. You need to be honest with yourself. about how burdensome something has been and you need to release it. And you just need to let the tower fall so you can rebuild it. I think somebody is fighting, somebody's fighting a tower. The tower, reverse tower came up twice. The tower reversed has come up twice. You understand that you need to let a tower fall before you can rebuild it, right? All right, Sag, oh, I'm going to leave it there. Probably doing a bonus round um, toward the beginning of September because the goal is to get all of this set done by August 31st. So be looking forward to that, most definitely. Um, so enjoy your September. By the looks of things, it's going to be an interesting one. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you later.